But I wanted to show you something interesting about these, this particular problem, where you can basically do these things in one quick hit, okay? Just by using um, the Euler's formula for um, complex numbers, okay? So, so any, has anyone done it that way? No? All right, let me show you. I think, I think it's kind of cute. All right, so for A, now by this SF of X, I'm in the Fourier series of the function F. And in particular, if I'm calculating a, a cosine series, then what I'm interested in are the coefficient A sub naught and A sub n. Now, there are formulae for these involving integrals. And because we can extend this as an even function, the integral formulae take the following form. OK, so we can do this integral here. And you'll end up with something like this. OK, well, who cares about that? But we need it. But it's the other coefficients that are actually uh, the, the subject of this talk. OK? OK. So to polish off this in integral, Probably a, a first idea would be, oh, let's, let's integrate by parts. Yes? Um, no, be, because we're integrating over half. No, 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 I mean back to A first. No, because you, we're doubling it again. So usually the, the yeah, yeah. So, 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 the, so here the, the period 2L is two units. So half the period is one. OK, you got it. All right, good. Now, so you look at this and you go, OK, yeah, yeah, integration by parts. So you probably have to integrate that by parts twice and then rearrange it. But let me show you an easier way and how we can get both the cosine and the sine series in one swoop. OK? Now, um, so for part B, I'll, co I'll come back to this. So the Fourier series is a Fourier sine series. So it's an integral involving the following product. Okay, well, so what? Okay, now remember Euler's formula involving complex numbers. Okay, e to the i theta equals cosine theta plus i sine theta. Okay, now how does that help us? Well, if you look at this, this term here is just the imaginary, uh, sorry, the real part of e to the i n pi x. This part here is the imaginary part of e to the i n pi x. Okay? So actually what we're going to do is the following, right? So it's the real part of e to the i n pi x. And this is two times the following. So actually what we're going to do is work with exponentials here. Okay.
Now, I'm not going to worry about the twos. I'll come back to that later. We're going to do this integral. Now, remember, i squared is just minus 1 in this uh, setting. So this integral here is very simple. There's no integration by parts, and you can get the real and the imaginary part in one swoop. OK? Can I have a show of hands? Who's actually seen this method before? Yeah, good. OK, if you don't know, if you haven't seen it before, then don't worry. I mean, you're learning it now. OK? So you can you know, combine these things up. Uh, so what have we got? We've got i n pi uh, minus 1 x. So just think of i as a constant, and we're just going to do this integral. And then we're going to pick out the real part, pick out the imaginary part, and um, we can use this. I mean, the, the real part will come out here, the imaginary part will come out here, so you've actually got, got what you want. Okay? All right. So if we do one integration, just in the regular way, Okay, that was pretty easy. And if you sub in x equals 1 and x equals 0, oops, minus 1. Okay, so x to the 0 is going to give you 1. So now all we need to do is pick out the real and imaginary parts from this uh, bottom line. So how do you do that? Well, one way is to um, write this back in terms of cosine and sine, and then we'll multiply by the complex conjugate. Um, so this top bit, you can bring e to the minus 1 down, so we're going to get something like this. Okay. Right, and what's i sine n pi? Well, sine n pi for the multiple n, uh, integer multiples, is always 0. Okay? So this part in here is actually going to disappear. Okay, so that's 0. So we're going to get something. Uh, well, that's going to be zero. And what's cos n pi, where n's an integer? Well, it oscillates between positive 1 and negative 1, right? So if I wanted to simplify that a little bit, I could simplify it down to the following. That's zero. And I get something like this. Okay? So now all I really need to do now is determine the real and imaginary parts. For that, I'm going to multiply by... Uh, the conjugate of what's on the bottom divided by itself. Okay, so if I expand this out, remembering that i squared equals negative 1, I'll get something like the following. Okay, so now I'm, I'm getting somewhere. I just need to take the real and imaginary parts of these things, which is easy to do in its current form. So let's call this star. And let's look at the real part of star and the imaginary part of star. Okay, so the real part of star is just that over that. And the imaginary part is just that over that. Okay? So essentially we've solved the problem now. What we want is we want, for this thing we want two times the real part of this, uh, 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 yeah, which is 2 times this. For the b sub n, we want 2 times the imaginary part of this whole thing, which is 2 times this. Okay? Okay? 
Okay, so let's write it like this. No, sorry, two times. So that should be a two. Okay, two times imaginary part of this. Okay, so once we have our Fourier coefficients, we can just write down the answer. Okay, so in part A for our Fourier cosine series, you got a naught's that, plus this inside your summation. Okay. So for part A, the Fourier series or the Fourier cosine series is the following. And in part B, you want your Fourier sine series. Okay? So, uh, yep. So there you have it. A reasonably, I mean, you, you, might, you might think, come on, Chris, you took, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes to do that problem. Yeah, but we've got a lot of information. Okay? To do those things separately, I reckon would take you a fair bit of time as well. So what do you guys think? Do you think it's a reasonable method or you're not impressed? Where have you seen that? We've seen the method before. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. What do you think? Can you see some benefits now? Yeah. Even, even if you didn't see it in, in, in the complex today?